All right, today I'm gonna to show you something a little different. I'm gonna show you an absolutely beautiful, I, I wanna say adorable, <laughs> 1938 Chevy pickup truck. It is just fun to look at. Beautifully restored. Not a hot rod. This is just like 1938. A couple little upgrades to it. There's your horn right there. Oil bath air cleaner system right there. Chevrolet's inline six cylinder. This one does have uh, split exhaust manifolds, which gives you nice sounding and really nice sounding little dual exhaust system on it. This beauty was restored probably five or six years ago. It was a charity event uh, vehicle, probably auctioned off. The Maryland State Police had a lot to do with uh, the build of this vehicle. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the wheels and tires on it, the white walls. The color combination is beautiful. Upgraded with the Offenhauser uh, thinned aluminum valve cover there. Purrs like a kitty cat. Drives like a 1938 truck would drive. And this is looking for a nice new home. We're finishing up some minor restorations. We're just refreshing it. Getting it ready to go to uh, the shows again. No rust on a vehicle uh, of this caliber. Nice chrome, beautiful paint on the truck. Again, rust free underneath. I think that uh, I would probably want to spend a few bucks with a black paint can just to touch up some of this stuff under here, but it's nice and clean and again, rust free. Nice clean wood bottom. I don't know if you can see it, hold on a second. There you go. Really nice truck. There's your dual exhaust right there. Got a nice sound to it. Let's take a peek inside. Very nicely done inside. You see wood grain throughout that is actually painted by an artist. Looks really nice rather than just black metal. Same with the dash. It's not contact paper, it's actual paint. Nice gloss finish. There's your uh, manual heavy duty three speed. Uh, the instructions from the previous center said you're supposed to double clutch between gears, just like we heard when we were kids. Trucks going by. It's got uh, turn signals. I'm not sure if those are originals or not, from 38. They work. It's got a horn. <laughs> Crazy horn. And I think that's the original horn that I was showing you earlier under the hood. Uh, your factory original gauges, the dash lights work. Um, <laughs> just a neat blast from the past. There's your crank for your roll-out window, right there. Again, really nicely uh, restored. No wipers on this one. I, I saw a bottle of uh, Rain-X in the glove box. There we go. There you got your choke right there from 1938. Throttle right there. And your uh, headlight switch right there. And your key. And also heat right there. So my thoughts about this are, number one, it's beautiful. Number two, it drives and runs beautiful. 
just like it did in 1938. And um, how fun would it be to come cruising into town in this? How fun would it be to take this to the local shows? Or your kids or your grandkids, put them in the back, take them for a ride in the back of granddad's pickup truck. How much fun would that be? Well, I think the kids would like it. All right, so let's start this beauty up. I can uh, only run it for a minute inside the showroom here without getting screamed at, but uh, I want you to hear a little bit of the, the sweet little rumble of this truck. So anyway, back in 1938, what we did was turn the key, make sure you're in neutral, and then you got a foot starter down here, right over next to the gas pedal, and uh, that is your starter. So let's see if she'll fire up. It's ice cold, hadn't been run for a few days, but we'll give it a whirl. Just like that. And that was unrehearsed. I mean, it, the truck has been sitting for a few days. Oh, uh, let's see. A lot of gas. Get a little gas. Choke is still on. Might get a little bit of black smoke because the choke on, but uh, that's what you got to do to start these 38 trucks. Let's go listen out back. That is the sweet purr of Chevrolet's inline six from 1938 in this sweet little show truck. If you have an interest, give me a call. My name is Jeff. You can reach me at 410-562-9319.